Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have seen the complete implementation of looper thread and the handler. But the problem with this mechanism is, it is we, the developer, have to make sure of creating pretty much everything from the scratch. That is, creating a thread, converting that thread into a looper, even having a handler in that particular looper thread, which can handle the tasks that we assign to that particular looper thread. Now the question is, is there a ready-made API, which is out of box, available from Android, that I can use to implement looper thread and the answer is handler thread and this handler thread comes with a built-in method called as on looper prepared we will see the same demo that we had implemented in the previous video but instead of using a thread we will be using a handler thread so let us go to the demo so in the previous video you had seen the implementation of looper thread but now instead of using the looper thread we will use custom handler thread so you can observe that this extends a handler thread instead of a normal thread in this case we have to create a constructor which takes a string as the argument instead of overriding something called as run method here we will have to override a method called as on looper prepared in the on looper prepared we have to initialize the handler this is pretty much similar to what we had done in the looper thread only the difference is it is we who were writing implementation of the looper but in the custom handler thread it is already there so we don't have to write the looper prepare dot looper loop so i am just implementing handler initialization this looks pretty much similar to what we had done in previous video and then in the main activity what I will do is I will create an instance of custom handler thread and then I will initialize the custom handler then I just start custom handler thread on click of the start button I have to execute the on custom looper but here we have to use custom handler thread dot m handler and then we have to send the message to that particular custom handler thread and that will execute in the same fashion as looper thread so let me run this so you can see that the thread id of the main thread is one and if i click on this you can see that the looper is 163 and the thread that is sending the message is 168 and what if i want to update the ui right now it is just logging it to the lock at i want to update the count value here so if you observe here we were using looper thread dot handler and then posting a runnable instance and in the runnable instance we were basically incrementing the counter and then once we got the new counter value we were executing run on ui thread and updating the text view the key here is we were using the looper thread instead of looper thread i want to use custom handler thread and then i want to pass it on to yum handler so let me call this particular method instead of execute on custom looper and it should work perfectly fine so let me run it and start the thread and you will observe that now i am able to update the ui so you can basically use either looper thread or the handler thread there is no difference one and the same it is up to you which one you want to use either looper thread or handler thread another small aspect that i wanted to discuss is how do you stop the looper will it keep on getting executed because that is a very wrong thing to do because that will drain the battery how to stop the looper for that in the on destroy method of the activity what i will do here is if custom handler is not equal to null then i can just say get looper dot quit that will end the looper what about if we are using our own implementation of the looper thread once again check if looper thread is not equal to null and looper thread is alive because you want to end it only if it is still up and running looper thread dot handler dot get looper dot quit you can just observe the difference in this case i had to get hold of the handler and then invoke get looper but in case of handler thread i could invoke the get looper directly because it just internally delegates it to the looper it is one and the same and finally i am invoking the quit method and this will stop looper from continuously getting executed that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye